Welcome to Voice of the Nation Special Edition. You're with me, Nina Nirasha Marisat Lumia. And for today, I am at the headquarters of Tao Bin. If you heard about this, this name, and if you're living in Bangkok, if you don't know about Tao Bin, well, you may be our friend, but if you really don't know, well, let's find out today. So here with me is Kun Tong, who is the product owner of this Tao Bin beverage um, barista. 24/7 barista machine. So please welcome Kun Tong. Ka. สวัสดีค่ะ. สวัสดีค่ะ. First of all, thank you for having me here, Kun Tong. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, living in Bangkok is such a busy life, and you know, suddenly, like around six months ago, we have heard about the name of Tao Bin. What is Tao Bin? Tao Bin. Okay, so I think most people in Bangkok probably have tried it before. So Tao Bin is one square meter barista bot. <laughs> so more than 170 drink that we could serve within one square meter. Mm -hmm. So we serve fresh coffee and um, hot cold and blended smoothies. But I've heard that you know, like you have so many many um, drinks in there. Probably about over 100 drinks. Yeah, 170 in this, exactly. In this box. Mm -hmm. And who actually invented the menu? Okay, so we have a team that working together to invent the menu, but um, the hardware and the software is many people. We have like the whole team of software engineer and hardware engineer. So uh, everything inside the machine has been developed and manufactured in Thailand from our company. In Thailand, from your, from the company, that means that before Tao Bin, mm -hmm. you have, if I'm not mistaken, the fourth. Um, here's the thing. So. The way the company is structured, Ford is a mother company and Ford, win, uh, Ford Winding is the company that holds Tao Bin. So it sits under Ford Corporation. Mm -hmm. So um, Ford company have the team, R&D team that developed Tao Bin. That's how it works. But you know, after what you say about Ford's company, who mm. actually, what actually inspired you to uh -huh. create one machine 24-7 barista, mm -hmm. so convenient that you can put anywhere you want. Okay. And very um, space uh, friendly. Mm -hmm. Who inspired you to to invent this? And okay. It is a vending drinking machine. So let's talk about how it came to be. So we start our business from Buntam, the top of kiosk. So the orange machine in front of 7-Eleven. So, and then we start expanding our business into canned beverage machine and realizing that the margin is extremely low. And then we start experimenting with um, fresh coffee machine. So we purchased about 100 machines from abroad and then realizing that the demand is there and it's a really high profit margin. We were limited by um, many fact factors from the machine. For example, um, design and capacity. So then we decided that we're going to invest our time and money and build our own machine. So it starts from there. But this machine is amazing. It's mm -hmm. not just only making coffee, it makes other drinks as well. And I mean, earlier where we, when we were talking about off record, there are, apart from coffee, you have tea, mm -hmm. you have some blended Probably the most um, best seller is the Oreo blend. Mm -hmm. And I was actually very amazed when I found protein drink uh -huh. in there as well. Can you please talk a little bit more about this? Who, well, who came up with the menu and mm -hmm. who actually picked the menu? And how okay. is this machine operating to, to have some sort of blended drinks, for example? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's a lot of questions in one go. <laughs> okay. So um, the way we came up with the menu, we observed the trend in the market. For example, at the moment, um, exercising and um, health 
it's become extremely popular and people care more about how they look and how, you know, like everything. So um, protein shake is from that observation. But um, smoothies came from mistake, I would say. So let's talk about how it came to be. So if you have tried Tao Bin machine last year, we would realize that we don't have smoothie menu. Right, you don't have the blended menu. Mm, yes. That's right. Only hot and cold. That's right. That's because we did not realize yet that we actually could do it. Oh. Like, and the hardware is not there to support it. So the reason that we start looking into this is actually not because we wanted to make the smoothie, but we want, we're trying to reduce um, the time to make each drink. So before we limited by uh, we li we limited by um, the size of the cup, so we mix everything inside the cup, and we try not to spill it before, so we cannot stir it too hard. And then we realized that actually, if we want to, um, you know, like increase the motor speed, so that you know the the drink has get mixed faster, we need to put the lid on top. So once we put the lid on top of like um, the cup with the blender and um, put more power to the, um, the motor. We are a technology company and we can afford to move fast and fail. So um, we actually, the way we do things, we, we try things out and then if it doesn't work, then we call it the machine back, like change some part and see how it go. So we try by like mixing it faster first and then like the customer complained that the cup is dirty. So we put the lid on and like, you know, like increase the speed later. And then we realized that if we add ice into the cup too, then we managed to make smoothie. So it's it's really funny way how things came to be. Well, a lot of people think that you have very stuck inside of this <laughs> machine. Mm. But um, for this, do you think that, well, talking about Tao Bin itself, mm -hmm. Tao Bin machine itself, uh, as I mentioned before, 24-7 barista, and it's convenient. It's very um, very good for the pocket money but um, do you think that this trend will disrupt the um, coffee cafe. shop trend or cafe in Thailand mm -hmm. we are seeing more and more cafes in Thailand which you know there's a lot of investment there's mm -hmm. a lot of for example understand um, yeah. you know doing interior design picking the coffee and all those things what do you think about this we think it's different market, so we wouldn't say that we would disrupt them because the location that we put our machine is the location that the coffee shop couldn't reach. So it's the segment that hasn't been tapped. You know, like we expand our business in a different parts. Like in an office buildings or? Um, for example, in hotel uh, lobby area where you wait, you wait to be called to, get, to pay your bill. Like that's that's an example of like the location that you cannot set up a coffee shop there, and like also another part is like 24 hour operating time, like no like you can hardly find any cafe that operating 24 hour. So you see like also like the the part that we captured the market is the part where like the the cafe couldn't couldn't just you know like service. Mm -hmm. So what about the ingredients? Mm -hmm. What are the ingredients? I've heard that you pick the best ingredient as well, and the water that you use, or the mm -hmm. what you say to me, the matcha or the coffee. Mm -hmm. Who select this? Uh, so we have barista that we consult. So he helped to basically tell us whether like which ingredient is the best and like which one we should pick from. So the way we create our drink, we usually go for like um, having all the available ingredients that we could find. And then we um, have a testing session and pick whatever um, that tests best without looking at how much each ingredient costs. And then usually we pick the best ingredient and then see from there how much we could price it, like how low we could price it in, that, in the way that we could make profit and serve the best cup quality drink. I'll, I'll try it later. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'll try myself later. Um, what is your current market share at the moment? How long has Tao Bin been uh, introduced to the Thai market? Uh, so we actually started a year ago with only a few machines and only start expanding um, 
mass expand, expansion about six months ago. So 50 machines for like many, many months. And then now we have about 1,200 machines. And you have high demands. Yeah. A lot, a lot of people are actually on a hunt for oh, these machines. <laughs> Especially like, you know, I know these kids. They are so addicted to your tea. <laughs> <laughs> Where does Taobin stand in the corporations? When we talk about like Taobin is part of the fourth uh, smart service public, which already offers top-up services, enterprise solution, and other um, smart services. Where does it stand? Yeah. So the fourth, um, the fourth smart services public you have. Um, uh -huh. Three types of business already. We have where three types of business. Where is Taobin yeah. standing? So um, Ford Corporation suffer into three types, just like you say. We have we have um, EMS, we have enterprise, and we have smart service. So Ford Wending is sitting under smart service. Sitting under smart service. What is your future strategy in times? What is our future strategy? Rapid expansion. <laughs> Rapid expansion. Yeah, so we, we, we were hoping to put over 20,000 machines all over Thailand. 20,000 all over Thailand. Yeah. But right now you're not available for franchise. We're not doing franchise right now. So right now we're using the same business model as Buntherm. So we have an operation in, um, let's say, every province. So uh, these people, we give the machine for free but um, they, we do the profit share. So they have to buy ingredients and operate the machines. So for example, if I would like to have the wind machine in, mm -hmm. let's say one of my compartments, I contact and then you, you, you give me the service straight away. Um, so let's say, so I guess there's two type of um, people who, work, who we work with. So the location owner, mm -hmm. um, we rent from them. So if you own a space, so for example, if I own an apartment, apartment. yeah, and um, I want to put Taobin machine under my apartment, then you could contact me, and then we, I would be happily like renting the space from you, and then you get paid every every single month. And the second type is the operator, the one that I just talked talk to you about. So these people, we expect to operate at least fifty machine or more. So. Um, they will need to have some infrastructure to support the team and um, you know, like um, finance to be able to purchase uh, ingredients from us. So you provide everything from the beginning to the end? It's from the beginning to the end. Uh, so, so we provide, provide, the, provide the, machine the machine and machine. that's right, ingredient ingredients you need to buy from us. And what about the after sales or after service? Service. So uh, the operator expect to do the first level service. So they need to have some like knowledge to be able to fix the machine themselves. But um, <clears throat> the second level, we we support. So if the, if the machine is like hard harder to like repair, then we can send the team in. Do you have plan to expand um, the marketing strategy to our neighboring countries? or uh -huh. any other countries apart from Thailand? We already talked to um, a few people from different country. country. So, um, but the business strategy will be completely different. Most likely we sell the machine and probably take a very, very small profit share from them. <laughs> what about the drinks? The drink, no, it needs to be tailor-made um, to suit their local. And do you think, how do you foresee the, the trends in Thailand right now? The trend of um, food and beverages, for example. Uh, the trend of food and beverage, I guess it's changed, continue to change, like what people like will just continue to change. The new um, ingredient usually get discovered and the trend changes. But what I observe in terms of lifestyle is more interesting. So people become more and more busy mm. with their da daily life, and especially with COVID-19, um, the time table, the life schedule is no longer matched up. It's no longer nine to five. There's more like work from home. There are more, more people which work freelancing. So it's, it's now become more like a 24 hour lifestyle. So that's why I felt like peop uh, the business that could adapt to um, this change have more chance, have higher chance to survive. 
So that's why we, we, we also think that vending machine is one of the answer. And we think like this, this is something that we would like to continue and expand into. Do you think that in the future people will prefer more to go to vending machines rather than just sit down and, you know, mm -hmm. um, working in a coffee shop? So I guess that is a very different scenario in my opinion. So vending machine is something that gives the customer, well, something that saves customer time. And coffee shop is somewhere they could go relax and spend time. So that's why when people ask me if like, are we like compete with the coffee shop? In my opinion, it's, it's very different. Yeah. Yes, no, but um, that means will continue to, to develop your own products. That's right, yeah, for sure. To match with the people lifestyles. That's right. And well, last, I would like you to recommend what are the um, best seller of this Taobin mm -hmm. vending machine. Okay, so um, if you have seen Taobin around, I would love you to try our Oreo, okay. like Oreo smoothie that is really well sell. And also um, ice cocoa. Ice cocoa. Yeah, and of course, all the coffee. I've heard that your machine, when it comes to payment methods, mm -hmm. we can pay different ways as well. That's right. We, we support all kind of payment. QR code? Cat QR code and um, we have credit and we, you know, like um, other partner, we have all kind of points that you could use. The points as well. Yeah, that's right. So this is how convenient this 24 7 barista can do. So before we say goodbye, um, I would like to ask you if you could help me to go through this machine, how this machine operates and I would like, like for example, I would like to order a drink. So let's order some drinks at this 24 hours, 24 7 barista machine. How does it work? Okay, so you can see we have very big touch screen interface that um, customer can use. So you touch to start. Touch to start. That's right. And, and then is, we have English option here. Okay. And it's separate into like um, six groups. Specialty, coffee, tea, milk, cocoa, and caramel. That's right. Protein shake that I was mentioning about that and soda and auto. Let's have a look at this. So this, uh, you, you have congee? We have congee. <laughs> <laughs> here, just oh only here God. for now. Only you here have for congee, now. That's okay. Right. And these are the, um, the best seller, right? That's right, best seller and um, what we think that tests. So good. this one yeah. that you recommended That's earlier. Right. And then you have this, Tao Power Drink Soda. So <laughs> if you would like to boost up your power, this one. And then you got coffee, so that's the um, uh huh. Yeah, that's right. Specialty Matcha. coffee and all kind of coffee. And tea, tea. You have herbal drinks tea for someone who can't sleep and would like to go to sleep. Mm. Okay. Uh, you recommend this one? Matcha. Yeah, that's what I like for someone who doesn't like milk or gluten free. Like this is some something that's quite nice to the drink. Best. Yeah. Okay. And then we have milk, cocoa, and caramel. The best seller. Protein shake. This is really amazing protein shake. <laughs> you you have um, the sign indicated 25 gram of protein, whey protein, mm -hmm. and all sort of flavors. Mm -hmm. Plain proteins or even just milkshake. And the cheapest uh, categories in here is actually 15 baht. That's have, right. Oh sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have Pepsi. Mm -hmm. You also have cold herbal drink. Then. Yeah, congee. Okay, so the one that you recommended is the either cocoa or Oreo. This so one. So this two is the best seller. Okay, I would like to try this because mm. it's a new technology for this machine as well to produce blended mm -hmm. uh, drinks. Let's try this one. How sweet do you want your drink? Okay, so just right, less sweet. I would go. I would like to go for less sweet. And I you can see, that's right. And you can see we have an option to not select straw and lid. Mm -hmm. So that's it's just for environmental 
um, environmental friendly. friendly. So this one is not only just technology innovations, mm -hmm. space consumptions, convenient, whatever it is, but you also care about That's right. environment. Yeah, so our, our cup is recyclable and uh, the lid and the straw as well. Oh, but I don't want it. Okay, so then you can just pay now. Oh, do I need it? You need the straw. I need the straw. <laughs> I need the straw. How would you like to pay? How would you like to pay? So, you can choose from cash, QR code, Taobin credits, use check coupon, and all sort of this. AIS points, I have that. Okay. Okay, so today I'm just gonna pay by the credit. Taobin credits. That's right, this is when like, you don't want to carry anything with you. This is really convenient when you go for a run. You can put some cash inside the machine and just keep the amount of cash oh, no, in cash. for me. Okay. You have choppy washers as well. Very convenient. And okay. then you unlock the... Um, That's right, so this is the membership. <laughs> That's right, so the 30 turtle uh, shelf and then you How get one free cup. How to subscribe to this? Um, very easy, so um, you can add friend. Taobin line. Taobin via line, add yeah, line. Taobin. That's right. And then you can become membership and then you can just enter your phone number. Oh, okay. So. And then. Carrying the cup here, right? So this is oh, lid this and is, straw. This is my straw. That's right. It will be ready within one minute. So blended drink takes a little bit longer. As you said earlier, we need to close the cup and then <laughs> with the ice and blend it so it's not going around. That's right. Mm. Okay. So yeah, like people thinking, <laughs> do you have a in here? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> asks me about that. And these are the coffee beans. Cool. All right. Waiting for the drink. And apart from that, people can purchase the vouchers mm -hmm. and nice. use via the use to pay via the mobile. All right, it's ready. So now is the moment of the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's really delicious. It's like eating inside a coffee shop. And this one is only, what, 55 baht? But inside a coffee shop would be 120 for a frappe menu. And that's it for Voice of the Nations for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned with us every Monday to Friday from 8 to 8.30 p.m. สวัสดีค่ะขอบคุณค่ะคุณต้องขอบคุณค่ะดีค่ะ